The world's a powder keg, people, full of enough firepower to make the ground itself scream. Today, we're diving into the world of the most catastrophic non-nuclear weapons ever conceived. Get ready to have your minds blown, because this is a one-way trip into the heart of destruction. First up, we've got the big mama of American firepower, the granddaddy of all non-nuclear bombs. This ain't your grandpappy's TNT. This is the Moab, the mother of all bombs. Picture this, a bomb, almost 30 feet long, weighing in at a whopping 21,600 pounds. That's heavier than a semi-truck, people. And it's packed with 18,700 pounds of high explosive filler. This ain't no firecracker. This thing detonates with the force of a small tactical nuke. The Moab is designed to cripple everything within a one mile radius. We're talking instant annihilation, folks. Buildings crumble, bunkers collapse, and anything caught in the open, vaporized. It's a weapon that sends a clear message. Don't mess with the US of A. We're talking shockwaves that can be felt for miles. A mushroom cloud that'd make you think twice about skipping your next bunker inspection. The Moab was first tested back in 2003, and let me tell you, it wasn't subtle. The explosion shook the ground for miles around, sending a plume of smoke and debris skyward that could be seen from space. This was a statement, a show of force that made the world sit up and take notice. But here's the thing about the Moab. It's not just about raw destructive power. It's about psychological warfare. The very existence of this weapon is enough to make any enemy think twice before tangling with the United States. Imagine being a soldier on the ground, hearing that the enemy just unleashed a Moab. The fear, the uncertainty, the knowledge that you're facing a weapon that can rearrange the landscape with a single blast. That's the real power of the Moab. But hold on, folks, because the story doesn't end there. If America has a mother, you know darn well, Russia has a father waiting to step into the ring. Enter the Foab, the father of all bombs. This Russian behemoth makes our Moab look like a firecracker. We're talking four times the explosive yield of the Moab. That's right, four times the power, four times the destruction, four times the sheer awe-inspiring terror. The Russians weren't messing around when they cooked up this bad boy. The Foab is a thermobaric weapon, which means it uses oxygen from the surrounding air to fuel its explosion. That translates to a massive blast wave and incendiary effects that can incinerate everything in its path. We're talking instant BBQ on a massive scale. This weapon is so powerful it creates a vacuum effect in the immediate aftermath of the explosion. Imagine that for a second. All the air sucked out of your lungs, the sheer pressure crushing everything around you. It's a terrifying thought and a testament to the raw power of the FOAB. The FOAB is a statement, a big, bold, explosive declaration that Russia is a force to be reckoned with. It's a reminder that in the game of global superpowers, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. We're talking a weapon that can level entire city blocks, leaving nothing but smoldering craters and echoes of destruction. The FOAB is a testament to human ingenuity, albeit a terrifying one. But here's the thing about these super weapons. They're a double-edged sword. Sure, they give us the power to obliterate our enemies, but at what cost? These weapons of mass destruction are a stark reminder of the destructive capacity of humanity. Now let's shift gears a bit and talk about a weapon that's a bit more... tactical. This isn't just any ordinary bomb, it's a marvel of modern military engineering. Don't let that fool you, though. We're still in the big leagues here, folks. This is a weapon that commands respect and instills fear. I'm talking about the GBU-43B, also known as the Massive Ordnance Air Blast Bomb, or MOAB, but this time it stands for something a little different. It's a weapon designed for precision and power. This bad boy is a cousin to the original MOAB, but with a focus on precision. While the original MOAB was all about sheer explosive force, the GBU-43B is about hitting the right spot at the right time. It's designed to take out specific targets like underground bunkers and cave complexes with surgical precision. Imagine being able to strike at the heart of the enemy's most fortified positions with pinpoint accuracy. Think of it as a scalpel compared to the Moab's sledgehammer. The GBU-43B is all about finesse, delivering a powerful blow exactly where it's needed. The GBU-43B is a GPS-guided monster, which means it can be dropped from miles away and still hit its target with pinpoint accuracy. This level of precision is what sets it apart from other bombs. That's right, we're talking about a bomb that can practically thread a needle from outer space. 
The technology behind this weapon is nothing short of extraordinary. And when it hits, it hits hard. The impact is devastating, leaving nothing but destruction in its wake. The GBU-43B packs a punch of 11 tons of TNT, creating a massive explosion that can collapse underground tunnels and vaporize anything within a 500-foot radius. The sheer force of the blast is enough to obliterate even the most fortified structures. This weapon is all about taking out the enemy's most hardened defenses, those deep underground bunkers where they think they're safe. It's designed to penetrate and destroy, leaving no place for the enemy to hide. Well, think again, bad guys, because the GBU-43B is coming for you. It's a reminder that no matter how secure you think you are, there's always a way to reach you. But it's not just about raw power. It's about sending a message. The GBU-43B is a statement of intent, a demonstration of the military's capability and resolve. The GBU-43B is a reminder that no matter where you hide, no matter how deep you burrow, the United States military can and will find you. It's a symbol of the reach and precision of modern warfare. It's a weapon that embodies American technological prowess, a testament to our ability to create weapons of incredible precision and devastating power. The GBU-43B is a product of years of research and development, a culmination of cutting-edge technology and engineering. The GBU-43B is a force to be reckoned with, a weapon that keeps our enemies up at night, wondering when and where it might strike next. It's a tool of deterrence, a way to maintain the balance of power. But here's the thing about weapons like this. They're a reminder of the delicate balance of power in the world. They serve as a deterrent, a way to prevent conflict by showcasing the devastating consequences of aggression. The GBU-43B is not just a weapon, it's a statement of strength and a commitment to peace through superior firepower. Now let's talk about the big daddy of them all, the king of the mountain, the Tsar Bomba. This, my friends, is the most powerful weapon ever detonated. A nuke so big, so powerful, it makes everything else on this list look like a cap gun. We're talking 50 megatons of TNT, folks. That's 50 million tons of pure explosive power, enough to wipe out an entire city and then some. The Tsar Bomba was a statement, a flex of Soviet muscle that shook the world to its core. Now I know what you're thinking. Hold on, Chris, you said this was about non-nuclear weapons. And you're right, the Tsar Bomba was a nuclear weapon. But here's the thing, it could have been even more powerful. The Soviets designed the Tsar Bomba to be a 100 megaton monster, but they dialed it back to 50 because, well, they weren't trying to destroy the planet. But imagine, just imagine, the destructive power of a 100 megaton bomb. We're talking about a weapon that could vaporize everything within a 20 mile radius, a blast wave that could circle the globe three times over. Last but not least, let's talk about a class of weapons that are as terrifying as they are fascinating. Thermobaric weapons. These bad boys are like the fire-breathing dragons of the modern battlefield, unleashing infernos that consume everything in their path. Thermobaric weapons, also known as fuel air explosives, are a different breed of beast. They don't rely on traditional explosives like TNT. Instead, they use a two-stage process to create a massive explosion. First, they disperse a cloud of flammable vapor over a wide area. Then, they ignite that cloud, creating a massive fireball and a powerful shock wave that can level entire city blocks. But here's the really scary part. Thermobaric weapons suck the oxygen out of the air as they detonate creating a vacuum effect that can crush lungs and suffocate anyone caught within the blast radius. These weapons are particularly effective against enclosed spaces like bunkers and tunnels, where the blast wave can be channeled and amplified. Thermobaric weapons are a terrifying example of human ingenuity, a testament to our ability to create weapons of incredible destructive power. They're a reminder that the line between science and destruction can be razor thin. And that's the thing about these weapons, folks. They're a reminder of the responsibility we have as a species. We have the power to create, but also to destroy. It's a responsibility we all share to ensure that these weapons are never used, that we find a way to live together in peace without the need for such terrifying tools of destruction. We've just gone through some of the most intense weapons mankind has ever made. The kind of firepower that makes you question everything. But remember, this is just a taste a glimpse into the arsenals of the world's superpowers. The future is uncertain, but one thing's for sure. We're in for a wild ride. Stay safe out there, folks.